Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out Mountain Rendezvous Collectible Locations, where we find two documents, two relics, two GPS cache, and five lanterns for the Pyromaniac Challenge. And to start things off and make things super easy for us, we find the Mountain Temple treasure map right off the bat. So the first part of this mission is a lot of action and no collecting. So we left that out. So you're going to get to a spot probably about five minutes in, maybe ten if you're uh, you know, taking your time. Uh, or maybe dying a few times. You're going to come to this giant ladder. You can't miss it. Once you climb to the top, you're actually going to start your collecting. And we're going to go ahead and start that off with the treasure map. So, first of all, we're going to run and jump off over to the side over here. As soon as we get our bearing and go what's going, see what's going down. Or in this case, going up since we just climbed the ladder, eh? Oh, yeah. All right. So, we're going to go off over to the side into the waterfall. We're going to slide on in. Sneaky, sneaky. And guess what? That's right. Treasure map. This is going to make our collecting a heck of a lot easier. Uh, in fact, you might not even need the rest of this video now. Uh, that's just uh, real talk right there. You, uh, although, will not have access to all the lanterns via that. So uh, the video might still come in handy after all. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and uh, press them. Nice, succulent, warm. Uh, forearms up against that rock there and move along and we'll make our way back over to this shimmy sham over here and we'll jump up it because she's got some hops and up on top of this building over here we're going to find our first GPS cache now as always there are quick links uh, down in the description so uh, there are a couple parts that drag a little bit and we're trying to make the quick links close to the objective and uh, feel free to use those and yeah if not, just uh, follow along, and we will move collectible to collectible. Next one's going to be the first document. This one's uh, not too hard to find. We're going to jump all the way back down and then follow the river and go through another hole. This one's also kind of cheeky, kind of around the corner. We'll get a document, and because uh, nobody wants to hear this twice, we'll go ahead and grab it and edit out the talking part and move right along. Don't forget to uh, pill for that salvage there. And we're going to go back out and cross on over to the bridge. Actually, we're going to take a little pit stop at the camp here. And you'll notice the fast travel is now unlocked. So uh, we got that going for us. You know, you know how that works. And after we listen to her flibble flabble, we'll uh, pull out of the old base camp, get our diary time here. We've got to get our diary time. Yeah, buddy. All right, so two of ten, two of ten. Now we're going to go ahead and cross the bridge and head up towards the top. And this is kind of one of those breaks that, uh, you know, we got some action going on here. And we're going to distract this guy, which is nice and cool. But uh, if you want to skip along, you know, we're getting only about 20 more seconds away anyways. But uh, the quick links are down below. And here in a second, we'll get back to uh, our collecting. And the first one's actually going to, or the next one's going to be the first lantern. So that'll be nice, right? So before you advance up those stairs on the right, make sure you uh, hightail it around the back side of the building. You can see once you use your uh, super awesome vision, uh, you will uh, see that in the corner. We're going to blast the lantern, and it'll actually queue up and start the Pyromaniac Challenge. Then we're going to go ahead and keep following over and shimmy sham up the back wall here. And up top inside, we're going to use our pry bar and pry open for some uh, some nice collectins. So we got enough, uh, got enough of, uh, debris and scraps to uh, build some stuff. So next time we're at our camp, we'll have to put that to use, eh? Keep continuing on down and around. We'll take a quick peek at our map here. And we'll uh, note the uh, GPS cache and go ahead and mark it. Since we got that treasure map, we might as well put it to use, right, people? All right, we can see it right on over there. And you're going to want to hop down right here on this little white ledge. I try to go and hop over this jagged picket fence. Yeah, that's smart. Let's take a nice hot chick and go try to jump on a jagged fence, huh? And uh, we'll make our way right around. And yeah, yeah. 
There's that trusted GPS cache, just as our GPS t told us. So there's two of two for the area. And we're gonna double back it back up top after uh, pilfering some goods there. Make sure if you're short on arrows, you grab those. It's also some uh, some scraps. All right, now back up the stairs. Go ahead and climb up the wall, and right inside, off to the right hand side, you can see. There is a lantern. In fact, this one you actually have to bust to get through, so that's kind of nice. We didn't start the fire. Oh, wait. Yeah, we did. All right. Now when that burns out, we'll go ahead and pass on through. And this is where it gets tricky. You got to get a stealth kill and kill a couple guys up top. And, uh, yeah, this could be kind of frustrating. At least it was for me. I died a time or two. I won't lie. We patched it all up, though. Hopefully the edits look clean enough that you get it. And uh, we'll take that guy out. And then we'll notice that there's a lantern right across the way. See it? Middle, straight across. But we also notice two guys up top. But we say, screw it. And let's go ahead and blast that lantern first. Because who cares if anybody knows we're here. No sense in using uh, quietness anymore. So we took them all out. Like we said, we edited that all up nicely. We move on up. And there's a couple more guys that will come out from the high right side. Take them out. You can use your gun or your arrows, whichever you prefer. You got Molotov, so watch out. Maybe throw in that fire water. And once you take care of them baddies, you're going to cross. But before you do, you're going to want to look high left because there's a lantern hanging there. We actually almost missed it. And then we realized, oh, yeah, we better get that. Backtrack a little bit. And boy, you can Four out of five. Not too shabby. So there you go, and then we'll advance and go ahead and get to the top and take the zip line down next. So we get a little blurred by all this hotness. All right, now that we're across, we'll jump and grab this. Oh, did you see that? We just passed one. So there's a document right off to the right here. You do have to backtrack just a wee bit. Go ahead and swoop that up there. And then we'll take you to the uh, the fifth lantern, which will actually complete the Pyromaniac challenge. So that'll be two challenges under our belt. Oh, but before we do that, we're going to drop down and get some extra XP down here, a couple parts. Yeah, yeah, I guess it's just XP, maybe, maybe, something. All right, climb back up, and we're going to backtrack a little further, light our torch, which is kind of unnecessary. But we're going to do it anyways. Climb up and above. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Make sure you collect your uh, points there. And then up on the roof here, you can see the fifth and final. There's actually more than five, so it is possible that you could have gotten a, a different set of five. And But regardless, all you need is five, and we got them. And we're going to actually keep continuing up and climb up on that same building and climb inside. And we will find the first relic of the area. And we'll uh, take a quick look at the map and then put it in our pocket. I guess we'll uh, take a look at it first. It's hot outside. So we'll fan ourselves off. Cheap little fan. Hop out the window. Drop down below. And we're going to head out to relic number two of the area, which this can be kind of tricky. You're going to want to slide around the side, collect your berries on the way by. That's some XP. And then you're going to drop down onto this other house down here, which you can mark it, and that makes it nice and easy to find. I tried to go old school Tomb Raider and uh, hang on the ledge, and I was going to look back and jump over, but it wouldn't let me there. So I had to jump across up top, but we'll swoop down and grab the last relic. And that's actually going to complete the uh, items for the area. All to the air. Get some extra points to spend back at camp. So rather than play the ending and bore you with all that, since you're going to watch it anyways, uh, we're going to go ahead and cut it short right there. So that's going to go ahead and wrap up Level 5 Mountain Rendezvous Collectibles, where we found all the intel, all the GPS, all the relics, and showed you the lanterns to get that Pyromaniac Challenge as well. Sweet! Feel free to head on over to Facebook and Twitter, check it out, ask us questions, get involved, 
Uh, also, you know, the option to subscribe and vote is down below as well. HappyThumbsGaming.com. We're getting a list of all of our videos. In fact, uh, they should be all current. If not by this video, uh, they will be soon. And, yeah, you know the drill. As always, until next time. What's up?